Hello to all my viewers. This is Dr. Tawal Mehta. And today we will understand how to run one way ANOVA in NIME. So for this, we will go in NIME Analytics platform. I'll activate input output from here. In this, I'll activate Excel Reader. The reason I've activated Excel Reader is my data set is in Excel format. Now I will browse the file. Let me connect the data set, which is customer churn data. Press open, click apply, click OK. Now right click on it and execute. As soon as the node turns green, we are in the position to extract the information from this node. Again, right click on it and see the file table. Let us understand what the data is all about. This is the data of the customers who are loyal and those who have churned. So gender, male, female, age, payment method, pro credit card, check or cash. Is the customer loyal or churn? And the last transaction, the amount of last transaction done by the customer. Now we want to compare the last transaction done by the customer with the payment method. That is there any significant difference in that last transaction done according to the payment method or not? What will be our null hypothesis? Let us see. There is no significant difference in last transaction done by the customer according to the payment method. Alternatively, will be there is a significant difference in last transaction done by the customer in at least one pair of payment method. At least one pair. Why I have written one pair? The reason is the difference can be between cash and credit card, cash and check or credit card and check. Let us see how we can do this in NIME. So for this, we will first of all close this and go in NIME Analytics Platform. And from here, I'll activate ANOVA. One way ANOVA. Double click on it. Right click on it. Configure. Now, last transaction. Uh, here it is showing last transaction, but we have to take a grouping variable here. And that is a payment method. Payment methods are three. Cash, credit and check. And we want to compare the last transaction. So remove the age from here. Press OK. Now again, right click on it and execute. Again, right click on it and see one way or not. You can see here the results are ready. I will simply copy these results in my Word file so that we can do the interpretation. See the p-value. As a p-value of one way ANOVA is less than 5% level of significance, we reject the null hypothesis, which means that there is significant difference in last transaction done by the customer in at least one pair of payment method. One pair. We are comparing uh, two pairs. That is, the difference can be between cash and check, cash and credit card, and check and credit card. Now, let us see where the last transaction was done more. So, the we have to see the mean of this uh, last transaction. How can I extract the mean? It's very simple. Again, you go back in nine. Right click on it and activate the descriptive statistics and you will get the mean. Right now, let us do the interpretation. The mean of the last transaction done by credit card is 102. You can see credit card 102 by check is 132 and by cash is is. I will have to change this figure and I will have to make it 120. 6.7 so you can see that the difference is large between those customers which are doing the payment according to the credit card and by cash so this is a way you can run one way ANOVA in NIME for more videos on NIME kindly subscribe to my channel you can follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter please refer my playlist in which I have already uploaded many videos on NIME